Well, blessed be God, we're looking forward to the coming of the Lord. He said he was coming. The Bible says he's coming. The angel says he's coming. Paul preached that he's coming. Peter preached that he's coming. James preached that he's coming. Jude preached that he's coming. Hallelujah. Is he coming? The Bible said so. Well, why don't he come? Why don't he come? James 5, 7 said, Be patient, therefore, brethren, under the coming of the Lord. Behold, the husbandman waiteth. What's he waiting on? Till we get all the demons cast out of everybody? No, 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 no. Everybody don't have a demon in them anyway. Amen. These folks running around hollering, everybody's got devils in them. I just soon hear a donkey bray at midnight in a tin barn. I've got more respect for the donkey because the poor old donkey, that's all he knows to do is bray. But those stupid folks ought to know better than just be a brain all the time. Amen. No, 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 no. What's he waiting on? Till we all get perfect? No, because you never will be perfect as long as you're in that body. Amen. I said amen. You never will be perfect. Only perfect person ever lived on this earth was Jesus and they killed him. If you ever get perfect, you won't last long either. Amen. No, he's not waiting for the church to get perfect. Why don't he come? Why don't he come? Is he waiting until everybody's baptized in water according to my method? No. What's he waiting on until everybody joins my church? No. He's waiting for the precious fruit of the earth. He's waiting for a harvest. And that just delights the devil for Christians to get to fighting one another and get off on this tangent and get off on that tangent and get off on something else and the world's going to hell. Oh, blessed be God. Let's get our priorities right. And that's one reason that folks are defeated. Amen. Because they're living on the wrong side of the track. Bless God. Let's get, let's get things straight. Amen. Amen. Praise God forevermore. You see, you have a right to believe for anything that's in the Word or that the Word of God promises you. But if you go out beyond what the Word of God says, then you're out on presumption and foolishness. The Word of God is the foundation for our faith. Now the psalmist of old said in the 119th Psalm, the 130th verse, the entrance of thy words giveth light. The entrance of God's word giveth light. When there is light in a room, you know as well as I do, there's no problem at all to walk around in that room because it's full of light. But when the lights are out and it's dark in the room, you may stumble and fall over objects that's in that room because you can't see. As long as the light's there, you can walk fine. Well, the entrance of his words giveth light. Hallelujah. The reason that many fall and fail is because they've left the light of the word. They're walking in presumption and folly. So really they're walking in darkness. What does God's word say? Too many times folks said, well, I don't know. Uh, well, find out what it said. Like I said to you earlier, remember I'll come back to it now. I asked people, I ran a poll for 13 years. People would say to me, pray for me. Well, what for? Do I have to tell you? Well, I'm not going to pray unless you do because you either expect me to believe or to agree. If I don't know what it is, I can't agree. So what is it? They tell me their particular petition they want me to pray for. I have said to them many, many times, if you, if you multiply it over the years, you understand it would be hundreds of times. And I've said to them, what scriptures are you standing on, brother or sister, whichever the case? And eight times out of 10, I kept a record of it. Eight times out of 10, eight people out of 10 said to me, not any in particular. I said, that's what you'll get, so nothing in particular. <laughs> Amen. Find the scripture, walk in the light. See, they're not walking in the light. They're sort of in a gray area, in semi-darkness. Hallelujah. Praise God. When you get away from the scriptures, you're in a gray area. Some people want to step over into the dark, whether or not the word of God promise it or not. I've had them to say, well, I'm just going to believe God anyhow. No, you're not. You're in the dark. Amen. Amen. Believing God is believing his word. Amen. How necessary it is to know the word of God. Thank God he's given us his word. We need not be in the dark. The entrance 
of thy words giveth light. Now, what does it mean to walk in the light? It means to walk in the word. It means to walk in the word. Walking in the word is walking in the light. To walk away from the word means to walk in darkness. Hallelujah. Well, I want you to say it out loud. Now, I am a believer. I'm not a doubter. I do have faith. My faith works. My faith is in God the Father. My faith is in the Lord Jesus Christ. My faith is in the Holy Bible, the Word of God. God's Word is true. I believe the Word of God. Therefore, I believe God. God's Word works. Hallelujah. Now then, here's another thought. What to do when faith seems weak and victory seems lost? Well, number three, be sure that you're not living in sin. Practicing wrongdoing. Notice what James 1, or 1 John 1, 7 said. You're familiar with it? If we walk in the light as he's in the light. Amen. Amen. The entrance of thy words giveth light. If we walk in the light as he's in the light, we have fellowship one with another. And the blood of Jesus Christ, his son, cleanses us from all sin. Now, what does it mean to walk in the light? It means to walk in the word. As long as you walk in...